darling heart and welcome to the Drink Less, Live Better podcast. This is the podcast that helps you to see that drinking less doesn't need to be stressful, lonely or boring. I'm your host, Sarah Williamson, and I decided to have a year alcohol free as a little life experiment and haven't looked back. With my experience and training, I now help other women with their alcohol-free or drink-less adventures. You can find out more about me and sign up to my five-day drink-less challenge at drinklesslivebetter.com. I'm here to tell you that you can relax, connect and have fun without alcohol in your life. Join me here each week to find out how. Today's question is, are you happy? Well, what a question it is. And are you? Does a simple answer spring to mind? Yes, I am happy. Or no, I'm not happy. A friend posted a meme on Facebook the other day. It was a quote attributed to Heath Ledger. Everyone you meet asks about your career, whether you're married, have kids, etc. As if your life has some kind of grocery list. But no one ever asks if you're happy. So, in this post, my friend asked the question, are you happy? He got lots of answers, some predictable, some not so much. My answer was, I'm happy right now, but I spend a lot of time feeling content, okay, fine, and sometimes a bit sad. I remembered to ask him if he was happy. So, happy. It is just one feeling, just one, one of many, many different feelings that we as humans get to experience. Don't get me wrong, I think it's a lovely feeling and I'd choose it over a whole host of negative emotions any day of the week. But sometimes it feels like a pretty high bar to reach. Content, okay and fine are probably the feelings that I feel most of the time. I consider happy to be a quite elevated feeling and content happens to be one of my most favourite feelings. I love the cosiness of it, the simplicity, its unsurprising nature. Content feels like there is nothing wrong, no emergency, no immediate danger or threat to life, but a feeling in which I can flow into a task, relax into a rest or look around and know that most things are pretty okay or okay-ish. Ah, there's another good word, okay. Okay isn't given enough kudos, I don't think. Okay is such a good way to be. I'm reminded of the old agricultural term, fair to middling, middling to fair, when I describe something as okay. It's average, neither one thing nor the other. It's acceptable, it's passable, it's so-so, all of which I like. How do you answer the question, how are you? I spent years saying, I'm good thanks, because, you know, that's what all the kids were saying. But I've gone back to my roots, and the chances are, if you ask me how I am now, I'm much more likely to tell you, I'm fine, thank you. I downgraded from good to fine a couple of years ago. I'd had a particularly shocking and traumatic series of series of events in my life and saying good was no longer an answer anyone believed. Fine was an answer we could both pretend was real, even if it wasn't. To be feeling fine also rates highly on my feeler meter. Fine, okay, content, I like them all, and they seem so much less pressurised than happy. I love all the emotions I associate with feeling happy. Optimism, excitement, hopefulness and joy. Uh, Joy, that's my favourite. I love those total moments of bliss, when you almost feel your heart squeeze for a moment, when you take a deep breath and cannot believe this love-filled moment is real. I accept that those moments are fleeting. They're supposed to be. They are part of the ebb and flow of life. So yes, I'm happy sometimes, but I'm also delighted to experience all the other emotions that are available to me. 
I won't label the emotions themselves as good or bad, because they are just what they are. Indicators, signposts, opportunities to stop, observe and learn from, lean into or adjust. My feelings and emotions affect my behaviours and I absolutely know my behaviours, both towards myself and others, really matter to me and what I value. Are you happy? I ask you again, what behaviours are being driven by your current thoughts and therefore emotions or feelings? What needs to be changed in your life to help you experience more of the feelings that you want? If you need any help with that shizzle, you know where to find me. Thank you for listening today and P.S. I believe in you.